What's up, Liron here. Thank you for joining me in another video. And there's a good chance you're watching this in October as I'm in New York. I filmed a couple of videos in advance for you to watch. So today I'm gonna share with you a huge achievement, in my opinion, of being published in the Leisure Painter, uh, a UK based magazine, art magazine. And I really am grateful for them and for the editor that uh, they've done a great job with the article. Here is just some of it. I'm gonna flip through it in just a moment and show it to you up close. Uh, but this one is about me as an artist and my approach to watercolor painting. Um, and there's gonna be another article in the next issue, uh, in the November issue, I suppose, uh, that's gonna show uh, a full painting process by me with descriptions of the stages and everything, okay? So uh, let's take it to the table. I'm gonna show you the magazine up close. So here is the magazine Leisure Painter issue October 2019. Uh, and I'm gonna be a little selfish and focus mainly on my work, but I do wanna thank Ingrid Leon, the editor, uh, with whom I corresponded via email. She's been great uh, and really helped me. Um, and it was just a great uh, correspondence. Uh, so thank you, Ingrid. And now let me show you. So here in the table of contents, you can see my artwork that's actually hanged on my wall up there. Uh, and also here, this will be in the next month, the painting process of this uh, large piece. And now we're gonna skip, there's actually a bunch of really good and interesting uh, painting processes here and very talented artists and lots of different subjects. But as I mentioned, I'm gonna skip to my, uh, so the beauty of watercolor. Uh, and I'm gonna hold it up close so you can perhaps pause the video and read it, though I don't know if it will be that easy to see, but if you do, uh, if you are able to, uh, feel free to pause the video and read. But basically I was just talking about uh, my approach to watercolor painting, uh, how I do the first wash, how I approach drawing, uh, what I believe is important. And again, it's all my perspective, it's my opinion. Uh, and you know, just take it with a grain of salt as always, but this is what has been working uh, really well for me. This is one of my favorite paintings. It's a bit crumpled because we played around with it, but I have uh, two more um, copies that I'll probably uh, frame. Uh, I don't know, just the story itself. Uh, and if you get a chance to get the issue, that'll be uh, fine. Basically, I want to say a word or two about um, how I got these, this one and the next one published. I reached out, so I just took the initiative and reached out to several magazines, and they were the best and really in, in the response and everything, so uh, I ended up publishing with there. And what I want you to take from this video is really the hope and uh, belief that it is possible to achieve what you want. Um, and sometimes you have to be proactive about it. Um, and the value is there. I mean, if they knew about me, they would maybe reach out because my art is good enough and I think my ideas are developed enough. But sometimes people just don't know about you. So I think it's a great move to reach out whenever you want to. So let me show you once again, just a bit up close, the artwork. This is the initial wash. And then the final piece, you can actually see this process on YouTube as well. Uh, in one of my videos, I did a replication of this painting. Uh, this one uh, I showed in a, in a IWS competition or you know uh, exhibition in Bulgaria. It's actually still there traveling. And this is one of my favorite people paintings uh, that I did. Um, and there's extra information, sizes of the paintings and everything. Uh, here you see the first, uh, the drawing, the first stage of this painting really. Um, and uh, then this scorching street painting as well. I actually sold some of the paintings that you see here. Uh, here's a picture of some of my materials. Uh, and yeah, I'm just very grateful to have been a part of this issue and to be in the next one. Um, and let me just flip through and show you some more artwork. Some of these I really, really enjoyed uh, looking at. Uh, and some of these may not be my style, but I can appreciate the technique behind them. Um, so yeah, this, this one I really like. This is the, the probably the combination of the most different from what I do that I still really loved. This beautiful fox here. So a lot of good artists, a lot of uh, great tutorials. There is another watercolor one in the beginning. Let me show you. Uh, here we go. Someone got ahead of me. I hope the next time to be earlier, to be <laughs> to be on the cover, maybe, who knows. Uh, but in any case, yeah, that's... Here we go. So this is a watercolor by uh, Jem Bowden. I actually heard of him. Um, so, or her, I'm, I'm not even sure. Uh, but in any case, yeah. This is a beautiful sketch as a preparation and then the actual painting. 
so in any case, I hope you enjoyed seeing this and celebrating this occasion with me. Uh, and now let's wrap up this video. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed seeing this and I'm just happy to share with you good news uh, as always. And if you get a chance to get this one, uh, make sure to check it out and flip uh, through to page 30 to see uh, my artwork in it. I want to thank you so much for watching and I really, really appreciate all the comments and support and subscribers and likes. Couldn't have done anything that I do without you. Uh, and now we'll wrap it up and I will see you in the next video.